So this morning I substituted uh, for a morning Bible study class for the high schoolers in my con congregation. And um, I had the opportunity to figure out an object lesson. And the object lesson that I came up with was to show the kids the progress of my cookbook from the beginning to the end and just share with them like this journey. And so since I got all of that stuff out, I thought it would be really cool to share this journey with you as well. Um, it has been quite the adventure. So join me in um, seeing the progress of the cookbook from notes all the way to the book. And I'm really looking forward to being able to release this cookbook. It's a beautiful book and I'm so thankful for my publication team at Shadow Mountain and um, all of the magic that they worked with it. And let's just go look at that book. So here are a few of my initial workbooks. I started by using these workbooks um, and this was one of my first. Um, it was a leftover from when I was in law school. And so this was probably from 2008-ish um, when I started I would plan out all of the recipes for every week, and then um, I started writing down my recipes. I started getting this, this idea that it was easier to have the in instructions right next to the um, ingredients, which is something that you'll see in my cookbook, and which I think is really helpful when you are someone who gets distracted, which when you have a bunch of kids around, at least for me, it happens pretty often. So anyway, it's fun to look at these again. There are some gems that I want to revisit um, because I I'd either forgotten about them or I just haven't made them for a long time. These shortbread cookies, yummy. They were so good. Um, I don't know how they translate into gluten-free, but I may just find out. And this is um, a notebook from 2012. So that must have been when I started getting really frustrated about the whole um, flow of menu planning and how it worked. So I, um, I started making notes about things that could be um, useful in menu planning. And then this on this page, you can see the beginnings of what came to be the organization of 20, 40, 60 minute dinners. So I, I, I would look at these cookbooks and they're, they're lovely and I one of my favorite things to do is to look at cookbooks, but it was frustrating frequently that they were not more useful because we we have um, recipes that take 20 minutes right next to recipes that take three hours and they both use chicken, but they don't necessarily both work for the same sort of night. So I started formulating these ideas about how to plan a specific meal based on time that it's taken and that is that is definitely a theme that you'll see in 20 40 60 minute dinners i started i continued that organization in a recipe idea gathering book and when i was looking in this i was so excited i found a recipe for the sour drop cookies a very good friend of mine uh, this is actually in my sister Kleina's handwriting but this is a recipe from a really good friend so anyway um <clears throat> I should try to make those gluten-free. That would be really exciting. So after years of making notes in these notebooks, I finally started writing. I started developing these this format and then making notes um, about what worked and what didn't and what I might want to change. And so, um, and I had my mother who used to be an English teacher um, go over things. And so here are some more this is some more of my process and um, how I made recipes my own. I submitted my manuscript to Shadow Mountain Publishing um, in January of 2022. And um, it, a couple months later, it was accepted, which was really very exciting. And um, at, at that point, I had to start working on the publication part of it. And really, really wanted to include illustrations in the cookbook because I just, I, I love the warmth that cookbooks have when they 
have illustrations in them. And I happened to have a very talented daughter who was able to do this. I knew she'd be able to. And so I checked with Shadow Mountain and they said, we'll, we're happy to look at what she can produce. And she made some lovely drawings that I'm gonna show you. And um, many of them are in the cookbook. So here are some of the illustrations that my very talented daughter did. She developed a style specifically for this cookbook and it was just really fun every day last summer actually to see what she'd come up with and I really I loved the I just loved the style um, this was a really fun thing to be able to work on with her and these so wasabi I liked that English muffin I just think you could eat it And so all of that work ended up culminating in this book, and I'm really excited to share it with you starting this April. And you can pre-order it now at lots of different um, booksellers, I, I, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, um, Target, um, Shadow Mountain Publishing. Um, anyway, there are lots of links also at my website, which is www.dinnerinrealtime.com and it's a it's an exciting thing to be part of this project